Water changes its form. Water exists in all three forms on the earth. Water can change its form by heating or cooling. The change of water to water vapor on heating is called evaporation. There are many evidences of evaporation in our daily life. The rate of evaporation depends on wind speed, exposed surface area, air temperature, moisture present in the air. The Green Warriors put an equal quantity of water in a glass and an open bowl. Make the water levels with a marker pen. Place both of them under the sun for an hour. You will observe that the level of water in the bowl has lessened. This is because the exposed surface area in a bowl is more than that of glass. Hence evaporation takes place faster. Clothes spread on a line dry faster when it is windy. Wet clothes take more time to dry on rainy and cloudy days. This is because there is already enough water vapor in the air. The amount of water vapor in the air at a given time is called humidity. The change of water vapor into water on cooling is called condensation. There are many evidences of condensation in our daily life. A mirror becomes foggy when we breathe out warm air on it in winters. The water cycle, round and round. The water cycle maintains the level of water on the earth. It is a continuous circulation of water from the earth to its atmosphere and then back again. Water from rivers, lakes, oceans, etc. evaporates. The water vapor rises and cools down to form droplets of water, condensation. The droplets of water join together to form clouds. As the clouds become heavy, they fall down as rain. The cycle begins again.